that garden area over there we did not do Heinz wanted to do it I hesitated because I'll show you in just a minute about that okay I'll explain in a minute check out our little patio dinosaur he's somewhere between 9 and 10 inches long and he's pretty fat now he lives just outside our sliding doors over in this garden area right here so he's a frequent visitor here's our little patio monster from another angle he's looking away from me so I could sneak up on him and get closer isn't he beautiful We love having him live here. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but it's been about four years that we've been watching him living under that plant in our backyard. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy seeing a good close-up of him. I never really intended to do this project anytime soon anyway because of the whole lizard thing that I mentioned. But uh, Heinz and I came to my house to do a little bit of maintenance and he brought it up again. And then my wife came out and was agreeing with him. And before I knew it, we were taking some plants out and, you know, taking up river rock and all that stuff. So it just kind of happened. So I didn't, this is the best before picture I have since I didn't actually plan on doing it. But we did do it and it came out what I feel is very nice and I wanted to show it to you. So what you're looking at here is just dirt with a little outline of small river rock around the whole outside of the flower bed. Too many aloe, lots of pups and everything. And, you know, it's just crowded and it, it just doesn't look good. But well, anyway, we started stripping things clean. The two big aloe on the right there, we left those. And I think those are where the lizards live. And uh, I've seen them in other places in the garden, but I think that's their main residence. So take a look at this, and you'll see the difference shortly. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you this little flower bed at my house that I didn't do because there were lizards living in here, and I didn't want to evict them. But we finally did it, and the good news is the lizards moved back in. So right here we have a nice little fountain. That was here before, it just wasn't operative. We didn't have it turned on. And then we have some aloe right here, two big aloe plants. A nice little rock right here. And then the whole thing goes down that way. So another rock here. And this little plant, beautiful little plant was a gift so we planted it here when we redid this the gravel on the ground there it's a really light colored it's called apache gold apache gold and it's the lightest rock that we have at green valley decorative rock and i wanted something to contrast the other flower beds so we went with apache gold another little aloe here they've been replanted recently so they're kind of yellow until they can get their roots sunk back in i'll water them again tonight over here, it's about a foot by a foot by almost a foot. So it's almost a cube. This is a Grand Canyon Onyx boulder. And uh, believe it or not, that little thing weighs 280 pounds. And it's a really beautiful boulder. It's got a lot of sparkle in it and all these different striations of color. And it's got a lot of character. So. That's the little feature rock here and all these other rocks that you see were in here before. This is a little barrel that I moved from the backyard uh, that was not doing super well. So we brought it up here to the, you know, this, this was from the behind the casita. Now it's here in the, in the inside of the fence. Another little rock, a little pot that was here before. We just placed it again. Another little rock that was here. That is an oleander. We trimmed it, and it's got a little bit of dead stuff in it from, you know, d uh, dead leaves from the winter, but it's hard to get in there to get them cleaned out. 
But anyway, Oleander, um, this is a little bottle brush bush and it is really happy here. This area has no irrigation, so I water it once in a while, but most of these plants can just live on whatever they get. Um, another rock here, another rock there, another uh, aloe right here, another little rock right there, and then a nice little pot back here. So this is what it looks like from this end. Back up a little bit more here. You saw the before picture, so this is way better. Anyhow, let me walk it one more time, show it to you, and I hope you like it. Um, this area turned out to be about 163 square feet. So we used three quarters of a ton, 1,500 pounds, to go about an inch to an inch and a half deep on the gravel. And, uh, and then that one uh, onyx boulder that I also got from Green Valley Decorative Rock. And uh, it turned out pretty nicely, I think. So, hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation. And I have a little bit of a video that can show you that the lizards have definitely moved back in. Well, after Heinz and I did this little landscape area, I was kind of afraid my lizards would never come back because we interrupted them too much. But, not only did they come back, they've adapted. And this guy is king of the new onyx boulder. That's it, there he goes.